right here. There you go, guys. Hey, David Yates here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium doing what we do, guys, rescuing marine life. This is a loggerhead sea turtle. We actually have three turtles coming in live right now. This is happening as we speak for rehab, for triage. And I have Rhonda Sanborn with me from Fish and Wildlife. So, Rhonda, let's kind of walk and talk here. A little bit about, we have three turtles coming in from the East Coast. What happened? Why are we getting three turtles right now? What's going on in the East Coast of Florida right now? Uh, we've been getting pretty uh, st steady uh, end, of, end of season turtles washing in yep. on the East Coast for several months now. Yep. And our facilities in the East Coast have been pretty full. Um, Everybody, everybody's kind of packed out everybody's right now. Everybody's kind of packed yep. out, and we've been. So you drove all day, all day to the east coast, back here with three turtles. Most of the way to the east yeah, coast, great. yeah. And we have three turtles. We have this guy right here, which is a loggerhead. So I believe we have two loggerheads, uh, which are threatened, and we have a Kemp's Ridley, which is obviously endangered. But yeah, so, yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what happened with the turtles, why they're here, and you know some of the sure. issues? Uh, well, the first turtle, um, which actually is. Um, second turtle we got coming two in more. the truck. They're right? actually coming in right He's now. He's the deepest one in they're, the truck right now. They're coming so. in as we speak yeah. right now, guys. It's uh, alive. The one that's going to be coming in next is actually from uh, the St. Augustine area. Uh, came into the Whitney lab over there in uh, the, the Marine Land okay. area. Yeah. Um, coming right here. It here either go, right came here. in last night or came in early this morning. Okay, this guy right here. Needed to be transferred out. This is this guy here. You know the loggerhead? Um, so we're pretty emaciated, yep. lethargic turtle. You can yep. see he's the got barnacles. a lot of barnacles. Yep. Um, he hasn't been moving too fast or furious for a while, so, so general, he's chronically ill. So generally, a little bit more of what's happening on the East Coast for our viewers generally, kind of what's going on while there's so much happening over there, but we have to take care of him over here. What's, what's generally going on causing all this on the East Coast right now? Uh, it, it could be wind currents, it could be, you know, uh, yeah. wind patterns, yeah. waves. Currents, yeah. things like that going on. Um, we get that over here yeah. on our side right. where we get, you know, steady winds blowing sure. onto shore, put, pushing turtles in. So these turtles right. are probably offshore somewhere, right. um, not really swimming too fast, yeah. furious, not able to swim against the wind right. or the waves, whatever's pushing them into shore. You can see the emaciation so somewhere in all of them, right? So they're washing in really lethargic sure. and, you bet. Um, well, these are great sea turtles. So our team is doing a little bit of triage right now. We do some medical checkups. That's our vet, Shelly, and the full team right here. Ron, thank you so much. And we also have a Kemp's Ridley out here. These are, this is, these are the two yeah, loggerheads so right here. Lively. So, guys, this is what we do. This is what we're about. So we have three turtles coming in today. We actually have three come in on a plane from Maine a few months ago. And uh, we're going to name these turtles, I believe, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, I believe. We're naming them after cereals. So right now we're doing a little bit of a triage. We'll do, guys, we do basically here for turtles what you see for uh, humans at a, at a regular hospital. Our job is to get these animals well and get them back in their natural habitat. So right now it's kind of a triage. This is like the ICU for people in that sense. And we have our little Kemp's Ridley out here also. Let's go check the Kemp's Ridley out here. I think is right out here, I believe, or no, it's over here, I'm sorry, over here. So our Kemp's Ridley is, we're gonna go see them in just a second. But again, so we're just doing some triage right now. So our team will do blood tests. A lot of things determine they'll do weights and do an initial analysis of how is this turtle look, what's its condition right now. Then the plan is to come up with a plan for rehab. And they'll be dry docked. And right now, the reason these turtles do not need to be in water is there's less stress on them when they're in dry dock like this. So actually, they do not need to be in water. And it's better for them when they're under stress to not be in water, to be dry docked, as this is called. But they're amazing animals, very inspiring animals. And we have our Kemp's Ridley, which is in the back there. We'll see in just a second. So again, the loggerheads are threatened species. And uh, the Kemp's Ridley is the most uh, endangered species of sea turtles in the world, which you'll see that in just a second. So, And that's our team making sure the turtles are have the initial triage done. And again, their names will be Snap, Crackle, and Pop. There you go, guys. There's a nice cereal promo for you. This is Lauren from our team right here. So, Lauren, what are you doing right now? I'm going to draw blood on him to run yep. um, an ice fat and get blood glucose okay. on him. Okay, there you go. Just to see what... Um, same thing a human would get in an in a ER is a blood test to make sure we know what's going on with them. Check the glucose, check for other issues. You can see some of the emaciation around the neck there and all the barnacles. But these are great, great, we're doing a weight right now on one of them. So there you go, guys. Let's go back and see if we can sneak back and see our Kemp's really real quick. What was the weight? Uh, so that log there was 35 kegs. And this is our little Kemp's really right here. And we mean real small. So again, this is an endangered species. And uh, how cute is that, guys? Are they amazing animals or what? So, Rhonda, you're, you're guessing the weight is? That's pretty small. We're talking <laughs> like a maybe pound. I don't know. couple I'm pounds at most, yeah, I guess, yeah, right? I'm thinking he's, he's not too much. And he came from where again on the East Coast? This guy, uh, 
um, washed in in the Fort Pierce area. Fort Pierce, so okay, great. The loggerhead came in from the, one of the loggerheads came in from the St. Lucie Power Plant, which right. is in the Fort Pierce area. Rhonda Rock, she works for Fish and Wildlife, one of our key partners in Sea Turtle Rehab. She's been around a long time, does a great job, well yeah, done today. She drove all over the state getting these three turtles. Our job is to do what? Rescue them, rehab, and then release them back in their natural habitats as long as they'll survive. So now they go through a process of rehab, and you can hear the, the, uh, the activity in the background here. Let's check again. We're doing a weight on one of our loggerheads right here. So there you go. So how do you weigh a sea turtle, guys? That's how you weigh a sea turtle right there. That's the process you go through. So, And not as easy as it might look, but there you go. And these are fairly big. These are, uh, and that obviously the catch really is a juvenile. These are sub-adults, adults here. So again, so our job now, guys, is we'll go through a, a develop, a find out what issues are, do medical checkups, come up with a protocol on what, are, what can we do now to get them well to get them back in the natural habitat. It's about rescue, rehab, and release. That's what it's about. Very inspiring work, guys. Very cool. Let's check them out again for a few more minutes, and we'll say goodbye to you guys. But this is happening live right here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium, the home of rescue, rehab, and release. And uh, you can see some of the conversations. Let's check this guy out real quick. See all the many, many barnacles on the shell. These are amazing animals. They can swim a long way, many thousands of miles. Oops. And our job is, again, to do an initial assessment, just like you would in an OR at a hospital, and then determine what the plan is for rehab. And if everything goes well, these animals will be eventually released back in their natural habitat. That's always the goal we have at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. So, guys, thanks for being here. Have a great day. And uh, I want to thank Duke Energy. Duke Energy is our key sea turtle sponsor. They help us with all the work we do here. We have a lot of volunteers, a great team, they're great sponsors also. So, Duke Energy, thumbs up for what you guys do. One last look at our animals, guys. So, here we go. Triage as it happens. There you go. Do you have some? I have some because then you can use them to defrosting the release. We have a ton.